I got my roller and I got my brush and we got a project to do today, guys. Welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. So in case you've been living under a rock or you're not subscribed to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, go down there and go ahead and subscribe. This is the Mega Shop building over here to my right. And this is the new concrete pad that we just poured. And that is the second concrete pad that we just poured with stamped and textured concrete. Absolutely gorgeous. It is time. Now is the time. And if you guys have an old driveway that needs to get a new look and or you have new concrete like this that you really want to pop, today's video is for you. We're gonna show you how to seal and protect your concrete for longevity so it lasts and looks gorgeous for years to come. I ain't afraid of I ain't afraid to play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. All right, guys, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. This is your first time here, your 50 millionth time. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Believe it or not, we have 50 million views. That's crazy, huh? So what we're doing today is we're gonna be using this gigantic purdy roller and an El Cheapo paintbrush, and we are going to be sealing off this new concrete pad. Now, this may look gray to you, but it's actually a brown, a tan color, and we want that tan color to pop. So what we're gonna be using is a product called called Everclear. Now, you don't have to use Everclear, you can use whatever is recommended, but I do say do some research on what works for your area. We're in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina here, and what works for this area, according to my concrete guy, is this Everclear product. We're gonna show you how simple and how easy it goes on, and the first step is going around and cleaning the concrete. <laughs> so if you guys don't have brand new fresh concrete just like this, if you have older concrete, you can get it pressure washed and or pressure wash it yourself. I don't recommend using the wand type pressure washer. Be sure you use one with an oscillating head or just go and rent yourself a concrete cleaner. It looks kind of like a floor sweeper. It's got a big old round thing on the bottom of it and you basically just go right across your concrete and it doesn't leave stripes because you don't want stripes or striations in your concrete pad. So what we're going to be doing today, first of all, is cleaning the pad. There's a few bird turds on here, so we're just going to simply take a brush and brush off the bird turds, and then we're going to blow it clean, and then we're going to start rolling. This is going to be a really quick and fun DIY day here on the farm. Before we get started with today's DIY project, taking this concrete to the next level, I want to give a quick shout out to today's day sponsor. Today's day sponsor is AG1. Guys, you've seen it on the channel before. If you're new to the channel, I recently dropped about 85 pounds and I did that by eating right and paying attention to what I eat and drink. So AG1 is foundational nutrition and it fits into my wellness routine absolutely perfectly. I get up in the morning when I get ready to head out the door, I make myself an AG1 and I head out the door. It's simply just one little scoop in here, eight ounces of water. I typically put a little bit more water with it because I like mine a little bit more watery. And uh, it supports your immune system. It helps with gut optimization. It helps with stress management. It helps to keep my energy levels up here on the Stony Ridge Farm and bring you this kind of content. It's driven by science and made to the highest standards. It's bioavailability, which means the forms of ingredients that are in this are compatible with your body and easily absorbed. They're absolutely delicious. AG1's approach to nutrition is in peer-reviewed scientific journals guys. So AG1 has prebiotics and probiotics and whole food source ingredients which makes it taste so good. So if you're confused about what supplements and vitamins and such to take, I know that I love AG1 and it helps me get the nutrients that my body needs to thrive. If you want to try AG1 there's a link down in the video description and you can get some cool free stuff. So the link is drinkag1.com forward slash stony ridge farmer and AG1 is going to give you one free year supply of D3 and K and five AG1 travel pack. So if you're out on the road like me and you need to take some with you, you got it guys. Again, there's a link down there in the video description. You can see it scrolling right across here. Check out AG1. It's absolutely delicious foundational nutrition for your body. Now, 
let's get busy on this concrete. So the tools we're gonna need today right now is this extendable stick right here. This is a paint stick that's extendable. Buy one of these, keep it in your house, take good care of it, it'll last you a lifetime. We're gonna go around and we're gonna scratch with this brush. It's a rough and coarse brush. We're gonna scratch around and we're gonna make sure we get all the bird turds off of here and everything that we can get loose and blow the pad clean. Let me show you. So we got a few bird turds here. Any imperfections that we see, there's a little bird turd. I'm just gonna scrub that off. If you have any other imperfections and you guys wanna address those, you can just use Dawn dish detergent. We got a couple dead spiders and a few things going on here. And a few more bird turds. It is concrete, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, guys. So we'll go down the edge of this wall real quick. There we go. There's a few spots that need a little grinding right there. We'll sweep that. There's a little splatter from the second pour right here. That's okay, won't matter one bit. A little splatter won't matter. Here's a bird turd. Just brush it off, move on. I know there was a couple bird turds right over here. Here we are. So we'll get those off there. Okay, now. We don't have any dirt on here. We don't have any mud on here. So it's time that we blow this pad off, blow it clean. I'm gonna get a cool time lapse for you guys while I'm working out here too. This is a Husqvarna Leaf Blaster, supposedly the world's hardest blowing battery powered leaf blower. Yeah. So we're all blown off and we're ready to start cutting in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that paintbrush, that El Cheapo paintbrush, and we're gonna go right along the edges where we'll need to cut in. There's a few little special spots here that I need to show you. So right around this corner right here, we need to really be thinking about cutting in nice and sharp right there. We'll cut in down the edge right here. If we get a little bit on the building, it's not gonna be a big deal, okay? We're also gonna need to get our brush and cut in right here in this groove. If you can't tell, there's a slight curb right here. So we've got to get in here and protect that all the way to the stamped concrete. And you can see, this is what the stamped and dyed concrete looks like. This should have a higher gloss when we get done. And that's the goal, to beautify and protect, to get this popping. So here's the product that we're gonna to use today. I'll post a link to a good sealer for you guys down in the video description. What my contractor uses around here might be different than what your contractor would use locally or if you wanna DIY this. I'm sure there are plenty of options at your local big box store, but be aware, do some research. Okay, so we're gonna take the brush off and we're gonna put our extra large purdy roller on here. This thing is huge, guys. I think it's, I'm gonna say it's 16 inch roller, something like that, so it's almost nearly double the size of a standard roller. You wanna get a nice thick nap so it's easy and it applies easy. And we're just gonna pour and roll and pour and roll. Hopefully by the time we get from one end to the other, it'll be dry enough that we can step on it and go back and do two coats today. If not, we'll be doing another coat tomorrow. And this is the El Cheapo brush. Okay, let's get this critter open. By the way, this pad is about 20 feet wide by 80 feet long. So you do the math on the square footage and how much you need. We do know that the surface is very porous. The first time you seal it, you're gonna use about twice as much material as you will on your second coat. So just know that this stuff is gonna soak up. And when we first start applying it, it's gonna look bad. But as it dries, it will start to shine and start to look a little bit better, okay? So it's gonna look blotchy at first. We did the entire mega shop here earlier in the year when we first poured the concrete and it looks fantastic guys. It makes it to where you can wipe things up. So if you spill oil or something, you can just wipe it up. Now don't leave oil sitting on Everclear. Everclear is not an impenetrable sealer, okay? If you're looking for something to protect from oil, like in your garage or in your shop, then you need to look at an epoxy seal that's made to take oil, cool? I think we got her open now. Oh yeah. 
there we go. We'll save this bucket because it's going to make a good ash bucket for the wood stove that we're getting ready to install. So let's take our brush and we're going to go cut in on the edges. Don't overthink this, guys. Just get out here and get it done. If you had a partial bucket right here and the partial bucket allows me to carry the little bucket around, but if you don't have a partial bucket, just pour this into a little cup painting container and let her rip. If you're real nervous about getting this on your wall, then all you got to do is tape it off with a little bit of painter's tape. I recommend that blue painter's tape. See how it's darkening? So I'm just going to start cutting and moving. We'll get this done. So we're up on the next bucket here and just gonna start dumping and rolling. There we go. Look at how clear this stuff is. You can hardly see it in there. So from this point, all we're doing is we're rolling this on. So we're gonna pour some, roll some, pour some, roll some. You gotta pour and you gotta move pretty quickly with this stuff. And hopefully again, by the time we get done, we'll be able to do another coat. We may have to do another coat tomorrow, but you guys are gonna see this light color is gonna totally change form here in just a second. All right, guys, it's the next morning and this looks fantastic. Let me show you real quick. We'll kind of walk around it. I am going to put one more coat on here, but what this has done is actually sealed it off from the element. So let's take a look real quick. Looks a little bit on the wet side down here. So that's why I want to put my second coat. This concrete pour and this concrete pour were done at a different time. This needs a little more time to dry. It was shaded more so we're going to let this get a little bit more sunlight today and probably about two o'clock this afternoon we'll put our second coat on and it'll look good the only reason this looks different than that is because this had direct sunlight and that did not. That's how you seal and protect your concrete surface for future wear and tear issues this will help prevent freezing ice freeze and thaw cracking chipping and it will keep our concrete protected we'll probably have to do this once every three or four years something like that i will post a link to a good reputable concrete sealer down there in the video description if you guys decide you want to do something like this on your own property awesome i think it looks fantastic tell me what you think down there in the comments guys we'll see you next time on the stony ridge farm channel hope you enjoyed this little diy project awesome can't wait to build the kitchen out see you next time Woo! Mmm, AG1 green, baby. Woo, see you in the next video.